What's going, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's your boy Ryan on the Soul or Race Blaze, doesn't matter. So, I just want to show you guys a little bit of uh, behind the scenes of um, how I do my animations. Now, like I said before, I fully transition in Unreal Engine, I don't really do anything in Cinema 4D except if I have to do like some building destructions, like all this destructions here. Then probably I'll use Cinema 40 because on re-engine it's just not there yet. You know, it's there, but you know, it's more of a game engine, so it's kind of difficult to do that at the moment. So I'm just gonna show you guys um how I do this, and I just I, put, I have this little animation I did. The camera works now. All this is in real time, like it's it's crazy what you can do. Like, look at that, all in real time, like. And I'll show you guys like, you know, I can easily just edit the parts I don't really like or anything I don't, I'm not satisfied with. And by the way, I made all those effects and then added it in, you know, to make it like a fight scene. So, so let's see what we can change here. Now you see in this version here, her legs, she doesn't really look like she's flying. Oh my God, why is that like that? So it doesn't really look here that she's flying. So what I can do is... I, you can actually let me see if I can bring this here, okay? So I clicked Wonder Woman, and then I already set up my control rig, you know. So I'm just I think it's oh not this one, okay? So I think it's this one. So I have two different versions because you know I I am I made it two different scenes. So I'm gonna click on the control rig, and these are all our control rigs. So now. I don't really like the way the leg is in this part. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, 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 let's change this to the axis up. So now we can see here that the leg is its not really moving up. So I'm just going to move this up just a little bit. And then do it for the other foot as well. Mm. Now I use two screens. Uh, I don't normally use one screen because... You know, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> so now that looks better. So now if we play this, you can see that that ad already adjusted. So yo, you can see how easy it is. And then you can actually change it, you know, if you want. You can just move it around. You know, just have fun with it. Experiment which works for you, you know. So... Like that, that, that right there. I don't, I'm not really satisfied with the way this leg is. Maybe I'll put this back like this. Probably bend the toe just a little bit. Yeah. Now that's much better. She looks like she's flying. And actually, you can make this in only to see it like in more better speed, in case your stuff is lagging a little bit. Because sometimes when there's so much simulation in the scene, yeah. It, it sort of tends to lag a little bit, but it still plays in real time. So that's sort of what I'm happy for. Now I'm not still satisfied with this leg here. It just looks, it's not there yet. You know what I mean? So maybe I move it back like this. Let's see. Mm, still not there yet. So let's see this part. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, uh, that kind of move a little bit weird. So I'll put this back here. So let's play this. So yo, like this is how easy it is to actually, now as you see that, like she's actually stretching, you know what I mean? Like the other side, she f feels like it's stretching a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it like this. You have to really be careful, you know, like, <laughs> How your your character moves very important. So let's play this. Ah, the left leg is still not there for me. The left leg is still not there for me. So let's see. You can actually come out of your scene to have a better view. Okay. So you can actually just come in here. So as you can see, it's like this. So maybe we want to just go like this and then turn this like this. So maybe just, yeah. 
something like that. So you know, again, like it's it's getting better. So just this part where you felt like she's stretching a little bit. So I'm just gonna correct that real quick. Yep. So yo, this is where we are in animation. Like you, you're doing things in real time. Ain't that cool? Like that is cool to me. Like I don't know what people would want anymore. Like the fact that I'm able to do this in real time, and you know, it's it's just cool. Like bro, it's cool. So for this part here, I had to animate it manually because. I tried constraining it to the arm. Yeah, it doesn't work. So that's kind of like a bummer. So, you know, it is what it is. And then I also played around with the facial animation. Um, if you, let me play this here. Actually, you see this, it's kind of blurred out. So let's correct that. So it's here. Uh, what the heck is sign camera? I think this is sign camera three. Yes. So we can actually correct this. Actually, keyframe. I don't know why it didn't work. Like so it's much better. So I also keyframe the animation. Now, if you want her to be more scared, you can actually make make it happen. You know. Let me show you guys what I mean. Delete that. So if I come down here, mm, let's we can actually increase the eyebrow. Kind of make it like she's surprised, you know. <laughs> Something like that. Um where is the key? So the Y. Okay, that didn't seem to work for some reason. What? Okay. Just a moment, yo. Something's wrong. Okay, something is definitely wrong. I'm oh I'm not in the right one. Okay. The right one is Wonder Woman. Yeah, should work now. Uh 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 uh, uh. yo if you animating with Orange Engine, I would advise have two screens or three screens. Yeah, go crazy. I, I'm serious because using one screen is so, it's not the best. So this is the left. So you see, she's surprised. And then you can actually maybe increase the brown inner up like this. I think that's already up. That's why it's not working. Well, you guys can see it actually works. Then you can make this like this if you want. So I already animated it. That's why the inner opt didn't really go up. But again, you can easily adjust anything you're looking for. Like I have the cheek screen go like that. It's crazy, man. I, all, all this in real time, you know. <laughs> you can have her open her mouth even wider. You know, it's, bro, it's crazy. Anyways, so I just want to show you guys, you know, what I did so far. And uh, yeah, my animation is going to be up on my channel. I'm trying my best to finish it, you know. So I can do other things because I really want to do other um, animations as well. So, yeah, it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to cut off here and render this out. So I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy and peace. Dark side is dark side.